Bing Bing K.O. Jiggy Jacks Yeah You understand Panama turn up Yeah that me say Save Panama son Free up Panama son Yeah That me I say Big up Aime Gringo Whatever they want to call him I'm a, I'm a dad's dad See I am get this thing started You know I am link boxer And boxer link me and then from there, I am wrote the song Panama. Panama nice, uh, Panama. Follow me now. Panama nice, but me say Jesus Christ, me more. You see me, I say. And then it was a rap from there. You understand? Uh, I may link me from jail. You understand? Respect to I may, you know? Free him up, free him up. Free up Panama, son. Yeah. Wrote the song and I went to a, I went to a studio in Bed A couple weeks after that, and it was a rap after that. You understand? I'm just grateful for the opportunity. A few dates coming up right now. Um, we're trying to get it solidified right now still. We're going to take a trip out to Panama, do a couple shows, link up with the El Presidente. Saying, um, pretty much right around Panama, greet the people, let them know Panama have an anthem now. Because it's been years that Panama didn't have an anthem. And Gringo, which is Aime, free up Panama, son, once again. Him give me the link and say, you know, deal with the thing, Jiggy. I want to say that Panama is a, is a great place to visit. You understand? People hear stereotype about Panama is this, Panama is that. Excuse me. But Panama is a, is like, it's a big tourist attraction. You understand? Who haven't been to Panama need to go there. The, the women are beautiful. The food is good. It's a beautiful place to visit. You understand? You can't count out Panama. Panama is beautiful and, and, and just feel... It's basically a tropical island, you understand? Panama is like a mini Dubai. See? Panama has um, Trump Plaza out there, tallest building in Panama. Panama feels like a mini Dubai. Skyscraper thrown in the coast like a pull up. I'm so excited that I cannot hide it. You understand? I can't wait to get on the plane and fly there and just eat, um, um, what do you mean called? Um, Kojo. You understand? I, I want to taste that. I want jumping at the ocean head first. You understand? Locks out and everything I shake. You understand? I am is uh, I believe I'm locked up in, in, in uh, Pennsylvania. Already did 19 years. You understand? That's a strong man right there. Respect, I mean, respect. Saying 19 years. I think they gave him life or something like that. Saying. So we are trying to free him up right now, you understand? The best thing right now is to get all the votes we can, saying. With all the people being locked up behind the bars, you understand? They trying to say that they vote don't count. So right now we trying to change that. All the people that's that's not in jail who who has a right to vote, please go out and vote. We can make a difference. See? And all the people that's locked up, you understand? Don't keep them away and don't knock them away. Don't feel like they be behind bars, they're animals, they're not animals, you understand? They still could make a vote. They still could cast a vote. Their vote is important. So I'm trying to, trying to tell everybody right now, get out and vote. Because it's, re it's really important. It's really essential. It's detrimental right now that we go out and vote and cast our vote and make our voices be heard. I wrote a book. It's called The Block. The Block by Kevin Greenwood. First name Kevin, last name Greenwood. See? It's all over the internet. It's a Barnes & Noble's, Amazon, eBook, Nook, Kindle, uh, Alice Bear, Books A Million, AuthorHouse.com. It's all around the world. Just Google my name. Kevin Greenwood, The Block, or The Block by Kevin Greenwood. Pretty much, the book was like halfway through before I spoke to Amy. Through Boxer. Boxer is a friend of Amy, and that's how I get to know Amy. Amy spoke to me and over the phone, and he told me briefly, Jiggy, forward the book. The book is important. The Block. You understand? It's telling my life story. You understand? I call it a fiction, because it's too much real stuff in there. See? We got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm writing, I'm writing another book. It's called uh, Tra uh, Traveling Man. It's about the Masons. Telling what's going on. Um, I got another book called... Uh, it's a kid's book. It's going to be out approximately around next year, June 2013. It's called I Like Cheese, But I Hate Crackers. It's not talking about racism. Saying it's talking about a, a, a nine-year-old that had previous bad experience with food. You understand? He had some crackers. You know, mother was on welfare, couldn't afford certain things, so she had the dry crackers. He had a, he had a bad, a bad spill with it. Let's say he had a choke on it. 
whatever the case may be. He had a near death experience, so he hate crackers. That's all it is. It's, it's about food. Prisons for Chain is really important because if you if you try to cast them away and say that they're animals, then they're gonna come out and be animals. You understand? But if you try to give them a chance, everybody need a chance. Everybody doesn't mess up. I know I don't messed up. So with that being said, I say this to say this that everybody need another chance. You understand? Don't count them out because just like I was locked up last year and I started writing the book in jail. You understand? Now the book is light. The book is all over the world. So don't count out the prisoners. That's all I'm saying. Just give them a chance. Right now I want to say what's up to Biggs, Panama son, Amy, Gringo, Sin, Boxer, Screechy Dan, The Dan, for real, for shizzle, my nizzle, you fizzle. Uh, I want to give a big up to WhatsApp TV for coming out and, and recording this and let my voice be heard for one. Uh, Belly must large up yourself. My mother for giving me birth for what is worth. And last but not least, should have been first, the Almighty. Big up yourself.